Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-January 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with the Oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Pisces, what's going on? Aquarius, I think. Uh, the judgment card for the overall energy. Um, quite. All right. There's some changes being made. There's some decisions being made on your part. I feel like some shifts over here based on decisions that are being made. Uh, starting off the reading, you got the Seven of Wands crossed by the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Because you're rejecting this equal give and take kind of energy. From a particular place, someone may be coming up to you and being like, Pisces, let's work on this together. Let's, and you're like, no, thank you. Um, I don't know if you're saying no, thank you quite yet, but you, you're definitely rejecting it energetically. Um, so physically, I don't know if you're in that place of refusing this quite yet. In your focus here, choices, decisions to be made. Um, in the recent past, an energy moving towards you. In your strength, the Ten of Pentacles, recognizing whether or not you can create something long-term here. And I feel like with this energy that's coming your way, you're like, no. Because that's what you want, that's your goal, the Ten of Pentacles. But I see you pushing back from this one. The Page of Pentacles comes in as your immediate future. Huh. Possibly starting to learn something new. Uh, the supportive energy, the Five of Cups. You have been through something here. You've been through something. And I feel like because you've been through something and you possibly healed a lot having to do with this something from your past, you're able to recognize things a little faster, a little like, okay, this is working out for me, this is not, this, you know, kind of able to, to get yourself in that place, like, faster. Your intuition is on point. This is the energy that um, um, surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it. Not that much, because it's right here. Your intuition is on point. And I feel like you may need it you may have needed a confirmation for that. Uh, in your hopes and fears, you want something brand new here, especially when it comes to love and in the potential outcome, the King of Swords. A lot of determination, a lot of courage to make decisions because you know, you just know things. Okay. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the judgment. We're clarifying the judgment. And then we're taking you out when this reading is done. Four of Pentacles, the Empress, the Five of Cups. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's an energy coming your way, and I feel like you're kind of saying no to it. But partly because you're still hanging on to something from your past, someone possibly. There's someone here that you are showing me I'm not going to let them go. Whatever that means. Let's see the Seven of Wands. The Judgment card, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Ha! Huh. Okay, so... Mm. You're... You're rejecting the idea of stability that's coming in towards you. I feel like, and you're showing me you have an energy of discontent over stability in general. It could be that something happened that kind of messed that up for you as a whole, as a concept, as a perception in terms of your own stability may have been toyed with at some point. And because of that, you're kind of rejecting the idea of stability from a new place. 
um, but you're still not done with the old place here. You could be done physically. You could be like, well, what are you talking about? I'm done. Energetically, no, you're not done. There's still some things being worked on here, on your part, energetically. So let's do the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles. I feel like you're being led right now towards your stability, working on your own stability. And, um, and, and again, your intuition here is on point. I feel like you've done a lot of work in that sense anyway, so far, but there's more to be done. There's, it, it feels like you're being pushed in that direction for some reason. It may be that time for you to work on that a lot because it's good timing for that. And again, I feel like you're being led there uh, by you. And there's a lot of growth that shows up in that department. So whatever comes in here for you in terms of possibly something other than the material world, you could be rejecting it. But don't think that you're rejecting it because, you know, I'm busy on this other energy here. Um, partly you're rejecting it because you're not done dealing with the prior energy, you know, that you've been dealing with. So let's do the Seven of Cups in your focus. And you get the Seven of Cups again, the Temperance card, the Three of Wands. You think you're ready to move on here, but you're not. Um, you may think at times, no, I'm ready. And then other times you're showing me a period of time of, yeah, I need more time. Boy, you're loud. Okay, I know you're a Pisces. You don't need to, you know. That's Kai. The loud one is Kai. Let's just put it that way. Um, so I feel like you're, you may want, you may want to move on, but there's something in here that tells me not now. And I feel like, you know, that, you know, kind of like, I'm not ready now. I may want to, I may feel at times like I'm ready, but I'm not ready. Let's do the 10 of pentacles in your strength. Seven of Pentacles, the Star, the Nine of Swords. It's just, you keep on showing me that uh, your focus is right now on the, um, on your own stability, on the material world. That's what you're focusing on. That's what you really, really want. You're showing me pain attached to that though. So it could be that even though you're probably thriving in that department of your life, you could be hurting someplace else. Um, or you could be going through that growth in that department and then kind of still taking care of some things in another department there, in another area of your life where they're still healing, they're still pain. They're still possibly looking over things and trying to find closure to those things. Um, let's do the page of pentacles in the immediate future. The three of swords, the emperor, the four of swords. Yeah, pain is coming up attached to um, this connection that you're showing me here. I'm not letting this go. And I'm not letting this go doesn't mean that physically you're not. Physically, I feel like things have been separated here. However, energetically, you're showing me, I, this is one of those connections that I feel like it's gonna stick with me. If not for a while, then forever kind of thing. Um, and some pain is coming in attached to this situation here, but I see you healing it, you know, but I see this pain kind of sneaking in without you even quite fully knowing that it's gonna hit you. And then when it does, it's like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta heal this, okay, you know? Um, Let's do the Five of Cups in the supportive energies. The Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles. You're trying to create something new. You're trying to move on. You're trying to find a brand new beginning here. And mm, it's right next to the energy of I'm ready to move on, even though you know you may not be. Um, and the energies that you're manifesting, they're perfect. They're, you know... I want this, it's going to happen, and that's everything I want. And I get that. Problem is, all of that is on top of the Five of Cups card. There's still stuff 
to be worked on. There's, there's still stuff to be healed. Imagine that you're carrying this big ass energy of something that you need to work with. But then from that place, you're manifesting something outside of this energy, something new. And you're like, I'm wanting that. I'm really, really wanting that. But you're not in that place of outside of this so that you can be with this new energy you, you're manifesting. So first you have to break through this energy right here, which is the Five of Cups, which is that tied up to this connection. Um, you've done a lot of healing so far. Don't think that, because otherwise you wouldn't bloom on this other side that I see you blooming in the material. You're not done yet, though, you know. I still see pain coming through that has to be healed. I see, I still see energies that are coming through for you to heal in that department. And that kind of puts like a, imagine like a curtain in front of this new manifestation. And this new manifestation is there beyond the curtain, but you would have to break through. And that's healing. The curtain needs healing still. Let's do the high priestess, but you're 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 doing good, you know, in this. Let's just be a little more patient because it's still kind of a process here for you. For the high priestess, you get the ten of cups, the seven of swords, the world card. Yeah, I mean look, overall you know what's up. You know what you're walking away from, you know what you're heading towards, you know all of these things. Because, um, you, again, you got the High Priestess on your side, so that tells me, okay, well, Pisces knows what's up. I'm just kind of repeating what they already know, probably saying it out loud for them to be like, yeah, 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 you know, like a reminder almost. Um, And I feel like you've made your choices from a place of knowing, and you still are. So, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I just see a little bit of almost anxiousness, almost like, you know what, I, I, I'm kind of tired of working through these energies and I want something brand new. And I, I get it, I get it. Um, and you get it, the brand new. It's just I can't give you a timing and you know I can't and you know you can't so it's like wait for it I don't know in your hopes and fears for the ace of cups you get the three of pentacles the knight of cups the five of pentacles there's something that shows up here in terms of a friendship I feel like it may have a potential for more but you're scared you're kind of scared of this to be more hmm but you're kind of seeing it as almost like an escape route. Like if I were to go with this, this would be my my way to move out of this. Because I told you, you want to move on. You're kind of scared, though. King of Swords for the potential outcome. Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon. I see you going towards this, whatever this potential new situation could be. Uh, trying it out, going for it. You've got the courage, you've got the tools. I see you, okay, I'll go right to it. Um, but then I see you doing a flip back towards you. I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean that, oh, I'll try this out, you know, for a week or two and then I'll dump it or something. No, it doesn't mean that. I see a flip back into the depth of you, basically, going deep down there. So this could be an experience that might lead you there. This could be whatever it is, go do whatever you feel inclined to do. Because I saw the High Priestess here twice for you. That tells me, again, you're being led by something here. So whatever decisions you're making about this, they're not going to be wrong. Um, even if you may feel like they are at times. They're leading you some someplace. This situation may lead you back into a place of healing other stuff. I don't know. It feels good overall, this new situation you want to go towards, because otherwise you wouldn't go towards it. But um, I see it kind of circling back to you eventually, somehow. 
Um, let's see. Let's see what the universe has to close this off. Four of Cups, Two of Wands, the Moon. I see you being quite anxious and quite... Oh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this deep work and going within myself. And, oh, you've been at it for a while and I see you being really, like... Unhappy about it at this point. You know, like, when is it going to end? When do I get my new beginning? But the more you stay in this energy, the more you'll extend your way to that new beginning basically you know because uh, that puts time that puts pressure on those energies that puts expectation on those energies and no they'll come when you're ready and you'll see after that yeah they came at the right time uh, right now I get it you know you've done some deep work you're still doing it it's still coming up for you and I know sometimes it's draining sometimes it's like come on but if you've done that work, you know how it goes. We have no control over when the energy will shift. But it will. You know that it will. Let's close it off with one final card from the Spirit of the Animals. Let's see what this animal has to tell you. Squirrel? And I was looking at the chickadees. Oh, man. Squirrel. <laughs> always prepared. See? You're always prepared. Um... You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Don't tell Pisces to make plans for future when I told them that, to, you know, they don't know when it's coming. But, you know, take it from the squirrel. Um, chickadees are nice too, though. Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.